Sure, get your tickets, MirandaSings.com. I'll see you there. Hey everyone, it's me Colleen Ballinger and today I will be trying out some weird products that I got on Amazon. Oh my gosh, revolutionary. I'm so original. I don't know if these videos are lame, I just know that I like doing them. I've done a lot of Amazon review product video thingies in the past and I always think they're very fun. And I was feeling very depressed about the state of our country the other day and so I needed some retail therapy. And so I decided to go on Amazon and look for weird products that I could buy for summer fun. In case any of you guys wanna know what summer fun products you should buy, I got you girl. I bought them, I'm gonna test them all out so that you guys don't have to and I'll tell you what things are worth getting and what things are not. When I went on Amazon, I just searched must have summer items or fun summer gadgets and then I looked for the highest reviewed things or the things that popped up first and now it's all here, so let's try it out. <laughs> The first things that popped up for me was this chill-o-matic thing. It's supposed to chill your drink in 60 seconds. Now, if this thing works, I'm going to be so excited because I only like drinking beverages if they are frigid ice cold. Like it has to be the coldest it's ever been in the history of liquid. Like the temperature liquid can be right before it turns into ice. That's how cold I need my drink in order for me to drink it. If it is any warmer than that, I think it's literal trash. I will not touch it. So I'm very excited at the prospects of this. However, it looks like it tumbles your soda in ice, in which case it would make it explode when you open it, so I'm a little nervous about it. Apparently, it can make your drink cold in 60 seconds. I don't believe it. Let's try. I don't have any warm cans of Coke because I'm not a lunatic and I make sure that my Cokes are always cold, but I do have this Zevia Zero Calorie Soda that actually does taste exactly like orange soda. I drank these when I was pregnant with the twins. So we're gonna test this one out and see if it gets cold. So apparently, you just, you just put the suction cup thingy of this onto the soda and then you put it inside this device. This is so weird like so, and then I put ice on top of this, put the lid on and turn it on for 60 seconds and then this will magically be cold. I'm skeptical. Okay, I have filled the top with ice, I'm going to put the lid on and just turn it on and see what happens. For 60 seconds it says I don't buy it. Okay, here we go, hello? Oh, it's not working. Cool, it doesn't work. I put batteries in it, ah, I did wrong. Oh, I think I put the batteries in wrong. Oh, now it's working. <gasps> it's spinning so fast. Look how fast it's spinning. This thing is gonna explode when I take it out. Okay, girl, 60 seconds, let's see. Time's up. So I don't know if it made this drink cold in 60 seconds, but I think it worked. Oh my God. I am kind of shook. I did not think that would work. Okay, the can is very cold. Stop. This is a warm soda. Ew. 60 seconds, it's ice cold. Maisie wants it. Wow, I am impressed. I mean, it, it worked, 10 out of 10, I'm shocked. I can't believe that worked. 10 out of 10, if you like cold drinks and you are constantly finding yourself freaking out on how to make your drink cold but still in the can, because it does taste different when you put it in a cup with ice than if it's still in the can and cold. I recommend, I'm gonna use this for real, 10 out of 10. The next thing that kept popping up for me was this bladeless neck fan. So if you're feeling warm, you just put it on like a necklace and it just fans your neck. It looks like weird headphones, like from the future or something. So I'm excited to try these. I've seen these a lot on the internet. I've seen it promoted a lot on Amazon. I'm excited to try it out finally once and for all and let you guys know if it actually works. So if it does work, I know I'm gonna buy a hundred for my mom. However, it looks like there's like little fans that literally blow onto your neck and I'm so nervous my long hair will get caught in it. And that's one of my biggest fears in life. Growing up with those little blade flans, flans? Growing up those little blade fans, you know, the like really dangerous ones that you would go in front of and you go, hello Luke, I am your father. And you would make yourself sound like a robot. Those were lethal as far as hair is concerned. It was my biggest fear my hair would get caught in that and I would end up becoming bald because it would rip out all my hair. And I'm kind of nervous that that's what this is going to do. So let's find out. Okay, here is this fan contraption. I didn't read the instructions. I did, however, plug it in to charge for like 10 minutes. So it's a little bit charged, but I don't understand where the button is to like turn it on. Maybe it's this button, I don't know. So you just put it around your neck. Wait, where's the button? Okay, so let's put it on. <gasps> oh, there's different levels. Oh my God. Oh, that's fun. Okay, so there's different levels of air conditioning you can get. Okay, so you just put it on like this, I guess. Lord, please protect my hair. Okay, here we go. Okay, easy breezy, beautiful cup. Wait, why does it turn off? Oh, okay. I feel like this is really good. Oh, this would feel so good on a hot summer day. Are you kidding? I think I would love this on a hot summer day. My mom would love this. I feel like I need to give this to my mother. She's gonna lose her mind over this. My mom hates being hot. I'm into it. I, I can feel why people would like this. It's very cooling. It's not too loud. There's the different settings. It's cool and fashionable. I like this. Let's give her a eight out of 10. Just cause I'm still not sure if it's gonna 
catch all my hair and rip it all off. So I knocked off two points just in case it does that someday. I am so excited about this next one. Okay, so this apparently blasts... Trampoline? Did I get the wrong thing? Okay, I've seen something like this on TikTok, but I think I got the wrong thing. It says it's water balls. It's essentially supposed to be like a water balloon, but one that doesn't destroy the earth, you know, because water balloons are literally just plastic that are just shredding and going all over the place. So apparently they've come out with new water balloons that don't do that, but I think I got the wrong thing because this does not look like what I've seen on TikTok. Amazon totally did me dirty because I thought that's what this was. It says water balls. Trampoline battle blasters. I'm disappointed. I'm pretty sure these are just like foam balls that get wet and you just throw them at each other? That seems like, I don't know. I feel like I got duped, but apparently these are like reusable water balloons so that you're not hurting the earth, but now I'm thinking I got the wrong thing. But anyway, I still think my son will love them, so let's try them out with my kid and see if they're just as fun as water balloons. Okay, I'm about to take the supposed water balloons out to the kids that are in the pool right now, but it comes with this little bag you can put them in and then you can clip the bag to hang dry. So that's actually pretty nice. So I'm going to shove all of these balls in this bag. Okay, here we go. Let's take it outside and see what Flynn thinks. Oh, Flynn, I have a surprise for you. Pool water balloons. All right, Flynn, so this is your bag of water balloons. Whoa! Did it sink? Uh oh, spaghetti. How did they sink? Let's try this again. Okay, I'm gonna throw it against the wall. Fun! <sighs> I mean, it literally is just like a fuzzy ball that's wet. What do you think? <laughs> oh no, he's gonna throw him at one of me. Oh no. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Personally, not my fave. I would probably give that four out of 10, but it's better for the earth. So six out of 10, and my son loves them. Eight out of 10, but I know they're gonna be disgusting probably after time, and I don't think I'll ever use them again. So back down to five out of 10. Now this wouldn't be a Colleen Amazon review video if I didn't add in some fun fashion. You guys know that I love trying the clothes from Amazon. Like I've bought all their top wedding dresses before. I've done prom dresses before. I've done bathing suit hauls before. I've done all the different things Amazon has to offer. So of course I had to pick the top 2022 bathing suit on Amazon. And I also searched like 2022 summer fashion or something like that. So this is what I got. Literally just this like cover up thing, which isn't that exciting. Nothing to write home about. It's very soft, but I don't have like a beach bathing suit cover up thing. So I'm excited to try this thing out. And this bathing suit, that's really weird. So this is one of the first things that popped up. It only has four stars, but it has 10,000 reviews. So a lot of people have bought it. It looks like this and I'm a little skeptical, but I do need some new bathing suits because my body has changed a lot since I had kids. I'm happy that it's like more high-waisted because most bikinis I feel like are not high-waisted or if they are, they show your entire like lady bits. Trust me, you don't wanna see that. Nervous about it, but I'm excited about it. I haven't bought a bikini since I had the twins, so let's try it on. Okay, so I have it on. I haven't even looked in the mirror yet. This is my first time seeing it, it's in this viewfinder. And I don't know guys, this is so not my vibe. I will tell you number one thing that is not my vibe about it is that it's going up my Anus. Like it's literally a thong. I just feel like, and it kind of feels like a diaper a little bit. So I just kind of feel like you can see all the pieces and I'm not gonna turn all the way around because you'll see my entire butthole. Oh, I need to look in the mirror. Yeah, I don't like this. I don't like it at all. It's not cute, but let's try it with the next product. I don't like this. <laughs> I don't think I would ever wear this. I'd rather like a sundress or something than this. This just doesn't feel like my vibe. I don't wear stuff like this typically. Maybe someone out there would see this and be like, oh, that's cute, I'd want that. So I hope that this is doing something for you that you like it. If you like it, you can go get it for yourself. It's not something that I would really ever wear. A bikini, I really don't like on my body. Maybe it would look good on yours. So this is this. What do we think? Summer fun, do we like? I would give the bathing suit a two out of 10 on my body, but maybe it'd be more out of 10 on your body. I don't know. And this. Mama Jamma, the poncho. I would probably give a five out of 10 because I don't like it on me, but I could see how someone else would like it on them. And let's move on to the next product. And last but certainly not least, we have this ice cream maker. It's like a frozen yogurt maker. I've seen very mixed reviews on this. I've seen it all over TikTok. Ugh, I almost dropped it. And I've also seen it recommended on Amazon a lot. This is actually the first item that was recommended to me, if I remember correctly. And so I've seen people say it's amazing and it makes delicious frozen yogurt and it's so easy and delicious and just fabulous. And I've also seen people say like it doesn't work at 
at all, it's totally lame. It's literally just frozen fruit, like it's not ice cream. Let's try it out. Okay, let's get started. So this little ice cream machine, apparently it's not ice cream at all because it's literally just fruit. So it said to thaw frozen fruit for like seven to 10 minutes and then you just put it on in here and shove it in with this thingy. Apparently it makes frozen yogurt, but it's literally just frozen fruit mushed up. But this could be really good for the babies. It's really hot right now where I live. My babies are teething. I just feel like this would feel so good on their little sore gums. So right now I'm making sorbet with peaches and strawberries because they love peaches and strawberries. We'll see if they like it. They're all swimming in the pool right now with my husband. So I'll bring them a nice little spoonful of deliciousness when it's all done. Impressive. Oh my God, okay, I'm gonna just put it all in there. Okay, I don't know about this. I don't know. Does that look like sorbet? <laughs> it kind of just looks like when I mush up fruit for them and they chew on it and spit it out. I don't know that I would call this sorbet. It's very chunky. That's not sorbet. I would never say that this is sorbet. But we're gonna try it anyway. And it's a little too chunky for my babies. I can't feed this to my babies. I think it's got too many chunks, but Flynn might like it, so let's try it. It tastes like frozen fruit. It does not taste like sorbet at all. I would not recommend this. It doesn't even like blend it smoothly. It's like very chunky. This is horrible. I feel like it'd be hard to clean too. I give it a three out of 10. Three because if you need something to chop up your frozen fruit really small, it will work, but it's not very good. There you guys have it. That's all the different Amazon products I am testing today. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and leave a comment pretty please. Tell me what products you want me to test out for you. If there's stuff on Amazon that you're like, I've always wanted this and I don't wanna waste the money and until someone shows me if it works or not. Let me know, I'm your wingman. I will go buy it for you and I will try it and let you know if it's worth getting. So leave a comment, tell me the most popular things that you're like, yes, I need to try that. I will do it for you, I got you. Make sure to check out all my recent videos on this channel and on the Miranda channel. I'm trying to post as often as I can right now. I'm also on tour, so make sure to get tickets to see me on tour. I'm so excited to be back on tour, it's so fun. So make sure to get tickets to see the show if you haven't already. We're constantly adding new tour dates. I love you all so much. I hope you're having a wonderful, safe and fun summer and I, hope you like some of these products if you end up getting them. By the way, this is not sponsored. No one's paying me to talk about any of this stuff. Out of the goodness of my heart, wanted to let you know how I felt. See you guys next time. Bye. Ew. Sometimes I'm like, I'm just, I'm, I feel so embarrassing. And now's one of those times. I'm sorry. Okay, bye.